Hey, Vistanti here. So they just released an article about the 1.2 gameplay and features. I, I did not read this. So this is going to be kind of like a reaction read through kind of thing. So let's just get to it here. We have Greetings Traveler. The December version update for Genshin Impact is just on the horizon, aka next week on the 23rd. <laughs> this latest update will feature an all new area known as Dragon Spine. Before you pack the bag, da 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 da. Okay. In version 1.2, Travelers are able to put on adventuring skills to test all new area travelers will discover new air okay new puzzles uh new quests new mechanics awaiting at every turn a brand new environment mechanic has specially added for dragon spine which is a sub-zero climate we they went over this in the the video um when they were talking about 1.2 you slowly accumulate sheer code so you kind of see the bar slowly accumulate and once you get to the red area start taking Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So I have to reach the limit. It reaches to the end of the bar, and then you start taking it. Start to get here. Like a red. Oh, danger, danger. Certain conditions like snowstorms and actions like swimming will accelerate sheer cold accumulation. Like double speed. Kind of like double speed. Snowstorm as well. Is the harsh. Blizzard uh, travelers will also discover that there are mechanics which cast special effects on nearby monsters in Dragon's Mine. For taking on the monsters head on, be sure to shatter those first. Ah, so they have totem that buffs. This is like maybe give people like shield or something. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't seem to give them a kind of aura thing. But travelers may recall special compass will receive previously to help locate treasure. Due to the effects of Dragon Spies, unusual ley lines, and extreme climate, Traveler will not be able to rely on such gadgets. Wow, then there's no count compass there at all? Fear not. Okay. There's um, some surefire ways to free oneself of sheer cold icy clutches. Okay, but we still can't use the gadget though. They have unusual ley lines, so unusual. Use special environment objects, environmental objects. Travelers can turn bonfires, uh, room brazers. Wait, room brazers. Teleport waypoint, statue of seven, and even warming sealy for relief. The sheer code, a warming sealy. Such objects emit warmth and will prevent further accumulation. So maybe I'm thinking maybe if you take the sealy, you put it into the totem pole, and it'll give you a warmth around that area. Then I don't know, warming sealy. Oh yeah, here it is. Yes. <laughs> then you have these pillars. Eat special food. Travelers may eat dragon spine quests. Ah, fresh meat. Hey, that's uh that's Diablo 3 reference. Or Diablo 2. Diablo reference. To receive and to receive a recipe for goulash. Eating this hearty dish slightly reduces the rate of your code. Okay, interesting. I already maxed out my achievement, like uh, 40 recipes. Maybe, hopefully, they'll increase it. More uh, primal gems. The special gadget traveler may offering to the fair brain tree to raise his level. Once the tree reaches a set level, you may obtain blueprints from a warming bottle. Right, right. Uh -huh. Special gadgets, but it's just one. Under S. Hmm? Okay. Select Charlotte Quartz. So that's what the ores were there. Characters are, that are affected by Charlotte Quartz become completely immune to effects of sheer code. Oh, can be found scattered around the Dragon Spine area. Next, we will take a moment to go in more detail with the precious ore. All right, Charlotte Quartz is the type of mysterious crystal that can be found in Dragon Spine. This crystal contains some warming energy. Scar connecting Scarlet will temporarily halt the accumulation of sheer code and provide resistance to freezing effects. Oh, so you don't you don't get the I'm guessing you probably don't get the cryo effect on. You. There is some particular ice found in Dragon Spine that need neither be shattered with weapons or melted. Ah, okay, so these are like the barriers you're mentioning. So you have to get the started course to break it. So it's probably so like in the in the currently there's like geo rocks that you hit it you get the you get the buff of the geo thing. So it's similar to this is when you get the fire and then you can break the thing. 
Frostbearing Tree is an ancient tree that tends to the snowy mountain. While exploring Dragon Spine, travelers will sometimes stumble upon crystalline crimson agate, agate? Yeah, which can be offered to the Frostbearing Tree. Doing so will level up the tree, uh, get various wars, including Acquainted Fate, Intertwined Fate, wow, and a Wind Glider. Okay, okay. Um, and it looks like it doesn't use resin, so that's good. Is that what that looks like? The, the ores? I mean, the Crimson Magate? Alright, so we see the rewards here. Queen and Fate. Uh, Queen and Fate. Heroes with. So every stage, you get Mora and Enchantment Order. So at 4, you get Warming Bottle. And then you get Entwine Fate at 6. 7. And you get a Prototype at 8. And then you get the Frostbear at 10. <gasps> you get this crown? Oh. And then you get the Wings at 12. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. So it costs. Um, this is the crimson flower thing that you can find by you know putting a water on a fire flower and then you pick it up. This I think is a new item. Looks like it. Uh, star silver to craft the warm bottle. Enter a hundred. Oh, okay. So it's is it a one time thing? I mean, it's a one time one craft. One you only need to craft it once, right? It seems like. This is have 120 second cooldown. Okay, that's good. We get a name card at uh, 9. Holy mystic. <laughs> Pretty good. Not, not as good as the Geo ones I have. Bad. And there's the Frostberry. It actually gives you the stats here, right? Level 1, 60% uh, more damage when hitting. Hitting an enemy with normal charge attack has 60% of forming a droplet icicle above them. Yeah, so we went over this in the, the video. We went over the, the video. <laughs> Ooh, look at these wings. They're pretty nice. Charge guide. It very matches the environment. In addition, the war listed above. Once the tree has reached 8, travelers will also unlock Crimson Wish. Five new Crimson Wishes will be available every Monday and Friday. Oh, which will be completed to receive Crimson Gate. The amount of Crimson Gate will be found in Giant Spine is limited, but travelers may complete a quest to complete more gate to offer the Frost Bearing Tree. Okay, so once you get eight, um, you may not have more Crimson Gate, so you have to actually do the quest to get the rest of them. Crimson Wish will no longer refresh once. The tree has been raised to max level. Okay. Just to help out with your your stuff. You can do it in between between uh you do fri Friday, pretty much Saturday, Sunday, and then it refreshes again on Monday, and then you got Monday through Friday. New domain. The peak of Vindragnar. I don't know I don't how to pronounce words. Travelers will unlock all new domain at Dragon Spine Summon, known as the Peak of Vinodagnar. What, whatever. Challenge this domain to receive a Blizzard Strader and Heart of Depth set artifacts. So the Hydro set and the Pyro. I mean, the Hydro set and the Cryo set. In the domain, characters will continuously accumulate sheer code while. Oh my god. Well, platform in the challenge will immediately switch between sub zero and warm statuses. Okay, so area. Oh, wait, is it a. Huh. Is it a multi era domain? Or am I. Is this is domain, and then these are just the way to get to domain. Huh. Okay, okay, hold on. This domain character. Hmm. Affected by warm status will diminish sheer code and effects with sub zero will accelerate. Interesting. I'm trying to dissect what this is. looks like it's in the regular world, so it's not a domain. But this could just be a domain and it could be like a a a walking running domain. Instead of just one room. Huh. Interesting. We'll have to see. I'm not too sure. Right, the new event trial will complete the Chalk Prince and Dragon storyline to obtain the new exclusive sword, Festering Desire. Completing specific quests during the event period will allow new effects of Festering Desire, and the character that equipped the crystal will receive special buffs while exploring the Dragon Spine area. Alright, let's see. 
Dragon who equips it to get 60% more damage to opponents in the area. Characters who equip this weapon during the event will accumulate Shear Claw's lower rate. They also gain 35% extra crit rate against opponents. Okay, pretty much spe specifically for the Dragon dragon Spine area. I wonder what the, like, oh, the base effects is on what we went over last night. After unlocking Dragon Spine Air Traveler, do not need to consume original resin to participate in the event. Oh, okay, so all these events, you don't need resin, which is great. Now you can use your resin for other stuff. Wards will be available for exchange via the event shop. Nice. Different essence. Warm essence. Okay, so as you go through the story and stuff, you unlock these. Or during, once you go through the event, you start unlocking them. For okay, three times. Two of them. That's maxed out. That's three out of three. Okay. But yeah, there you have it. My reaction and initial read of this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You like this kind of format. And uh, check out my stream. I'll be streaming a lot of Genshin. We're going to be going ham on when this drops as well. On the 23rd. I took the day off on the 23rd, 24th. And Christmas, of course, I get the day off. So we're going to be going pretty hard on this. So check out my Twitch stuff down below and my socials. And I'll see you guys next time with that later days.